Welcome back. Today I want to introduce to you the second book of the Amber Oak series. And it's Amber Oak Mysteries, Volume 2. You see it has a little bit of a creepy cover, but that's because the series started taking on a more serious tone as I got into high school. And that's when I wrote all the stories in here. And there's only four of them. But when I'd written them, I was seeing new things in high school and I was it was a completely new school, new people. And I actually didn't publish this book until I was must have been a senior in high school. There was a huge break that I had that I wasn't sure if I should be writing. I thought to myself, maybe this really isn't my calling. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. So I had a lot of self-doubt writing this book. And I remember the series part about the book, the series itself, didn't really start connecting until the last story, which ends up being a two-parter. And this was a really huge turning point in my life as my mom was a huge encouragement to me. And she told me, you got this. You have something really good here. You really need to keep doing this. So that's why the book ended up being published and it continued on writing. She was a huge encouragement to me. And a cool factoid about this book, around this time, I had a friend of mine challenge me, jesting a little bit, but he was challenging me. He said, I bet you can't write an actual series. I bet you can't make it a continuous series. And I guess I, I must have forgotten about the joke and the challenge that he gave me because I didn't really take it seriously. And by the time I came back to him and said, well, it is a series. It's it's making sense now when it's somewhat floating well together, you know, floating well. And he's like, how much did I owe you? <laughs> it was really funny because I started seeing that. Wait a second. I, I really do have this. I really, I, I think I have this. And that's a little bit of information about Amber's second adventure. Not a lot of things added to it, not a lot of factoids, but if you stay tuned, I have a lot more to come.